Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Hicks, back at it with another video. Today we're going to be talking about an adjustment that you can make out of a general cover three defense. Um, that you're going to make this adjustment against teams that like to pass a lot, that like to sort of high-low your cornerback or your halfback, and also teams that like to run two verticals on both sides of the field that puts your safety in a little bit of a compromising position. So this is one of the really good adjustments that a lot of teams like to run. So first of, all, first of all, before I even start that, let me just give you a basic breakdown of some of the of one of the pass plays, for example, that might arise out of this situation where you would need an adjustment like this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase my defense on this side of the field here. And so what I'll do is I'll have my number one receiver run a slant in. And he's going to run that all the way through. Uh, my number two is going to come up and he's going to do, let's say, uh, 10 out, right? That'll be at 10 yards. And then I'll have my number three run straight and he'll run a corner route over here. And so the first thing is when an offense is doing this, what they know is that the slant is going to occupy the sandbacker right in here. This, this little pass here, well, if my halfback, who's dropping into the, my regular cover three zone, if he bites too hard on this and he doesn't drop properly into the window right here, well, then my cornerback is sort of going to be caught in between the two. So my cornerback's going to be debating, well, do I come down here and pick up this out, or do I try and stay on top of this one? If the halfback doesn't play that properly, the cornerback stays on top, the 10 outs open. Likewise, if the cornerback tries to jump that out route because I don't know where my halfback is, he's out covering space, who knows, well then, that's an easy catch for the corner route. And so then, you get your safety involved and your free safety over here because he's already starting over to the strong side of the field. Well, your free safety goes, oh snap, I'm going to get benched if I don't make a play. And so, that's one of the situations where it's a really good idea to sort of use this, adjust, uh, this adjustment. Because what happens in that case is that when your free safety does that, well, after your free safety starts to adjust, all I need to do is I run a backside post right here, and then my number one, I'll have him reach inside and run a fade. And so if you're running your base cover three out of this, we have a little bit of a problem. Because of the fact that your halfback's dropping into the flat, he's covering nothing. Once he sinks, he sinks. He's covering grass, not needed. Your cornerback over here has to try and split two verticals. Your free safety, yes, usually he should be here, but because of what's going on over here, your free safety has a little has eyes over here. Sometimes this guy will stretch his route a little bit and then break it off. So it gets a little tricky, it gets a little complicated. How do we defend it? That's the question. So the main way that we're going to defend this is we game plan for it. So before you see this team on the field that week, you practice this adjustment. And what this adjustment is going to do is on the strong side of the field, the side with the three receivers, you're going to run your base cover three. But on the weak side of the field, the side with only two receivers, you're going to switch that into an automatic cut on the weak side of the field. Uh, from the Canadian standpoint, we call this a, a, a king formation. But we will get into that in another video when we're talking about naming the offensive formations from the defensive standpoint. But for now, at least, what we're going to do is we're going to do our base cover three. So our cornerback, he's still going to drop to his deep third. Our halfback is going to drop to his flat. Our Sam is going to drop to his hook to curl. On this side here, my cornerback is going to be taught to come up. You jam, and you have the flat zone only if something brings you into the flat. But for the most part, you jam number one, and then you sink under him, and you trail. So you play, you're using your trail technique here, and my halfback is going to drop, and he's going to play. We call it a deep third, but in reality, he ends up almost playing a little bit of a deep half. What I'm going to do with my halfback is my halfback is going to play shade in on the number two receiver. And so if the number two receiver starts to go inside, my halfback would go with him. And in practice, you would practice that 
this weak side cornerback, sure cover guy. He's good on the trail technique, and he's so he's following underneath. The only time that this this guy is going to come out to the flat is if number two does a little out route or something like that. Then he's going to switch off. He's going to break off at him. He's going to come down to the flat when the quarterback brings him there with his eyes or with the ball. So when the quarterback opens the throw, the weak side corner is going to come down. And that's okay because if he's in the flat, that means there's only one vertical. We got a one-on-one -on -one matchup here defensively. That's fine. What this does here is it gives the free safety a little more freedom. So from here, the free safety, yes, your responsibility is the deep third of the field. However, we allow our safety to play a little bit of instinct. And so with this position here, our halfback, we teach him to be strict, to be disciplined in his coverage. Our corner can be disciplined. And so if I go ahead and I draw up the same pass pattern that we just had before, where I have my slant, I have my 10 out at 10, and I'm going to have my corner route right here. Well, from right here, we have a pretty good opportunity to get a ball. We have a very good opportunity that we might get an interception, a pick, who knows? Because if my free safety undercuts any one of these routes, it's gone. If my halfback is disciplined, he drops right under here. We have no issues. The window's closed. Sam's right here to get to make this pass. And so just that fact, that the fact that we're, we're changing up what's going on over here, he's playing a bump and trail unless something comes out there. It allows our safety to concentrate on the other side of the field, and it shuts down that kind of offensive scheme. I'm Coach Hicks. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me what you want to see. I'll see you next time. Signing out.